What's up, everybody? It's Kezia Nicole with Virginia Beard Festival, and I have a wonderful guest. Could you please introduce to the people who you are? Because we met a few years ago, and we finally get a chance to connect with each other, and I'm just super excited about it. So go ahead and introduce yourself. How y'all doing, people? This is Israel with Team Lamb. I'm here with Kezia representing for uh, the next Beers and business, y'all. Yes, beers and business, because you want to know why? We are supporting beards that are in business, that are supporting our young black men and avoid the prison pipeline. Right. Right? So it's one thing to promote black business. It's another thing to promote businesses that actually invest in the community, because there are a lot of black businesses out there that are not investing in the community. True. They are spending the dollars that they get from those grants and those opportunities, and they're spending it outside the community. Right. But we are grateful that we have businesses that are willing to directly invest in some of the most vulnerable places in the black community. It's true. So, yes, so we definitely want to, that's what this is about, right? Beards in Business is about promoting those black men who, you know, they, they say fathers aren't in a home and fathers are you know, absent and black, where are the black men? We know where the black men are, right? They're investing in our, our next generation and we're excited about that. And it looks like Team Lamb is one of those businesses, yeah, right? Man, um, Tell us about it. How did, how did real, Team Lamb real get Real black started? men are waking up nowadays. And okay. if, if you want to that, you understand your family come first, your, your business comes second, and God come actually, let me, let me reward that. God come first. Your family comes second, and your business comes third. And right now, Team Lamb is, is joining uh, Beers and Business to put on this dope show. So yes. Team Lamb started uh, back in 2011. Okay. We joined okay. forces with um, our brand due to the fact of one of our brothers being shot and killed. And that's oh when, gosh. yeah, it was, it was tragic. He was a professional boxer, 21 years old at the time, and he was shot down at the ocean front. Oh my gosh. From another brother at that. So yeah. it was terrible. It was black on black crime and it really had us to think clearly like what are we doing with our lives right now? Right. We just right. lost one of our one of our chosen ones. And what can we do to keep his name and legacy alive? So wow. We came together and and thought of his last name was Lamb, what an acronym could stand for, which mm -hmm. he came up with Love All My Brothers. Oh my gosh. So we came to his dad, asked him for his grace to use that name for a brand he gave us permission to do so wow and we turn it to team lamb which stands for tell everyone around me love all my brothers oh my gosh that is so dope i think i should have came up with that but it wasn't my <laughs> story so i couldn't right well, you, that well, is so well look you here with I'm it pretty so. i'm pretty creative you know what i mean that's true. like you know what i mean but yo that is dope and, and like the fact of the matter um that it that it has a story behind it right that it it, it brings people together because, you know, they always say, especially in this area, that it's like crabs in a barrel, blah, blah, right. blah, blah, blah. But you guys are really showing that, like, people can come together and really make a difference. So that's really dope. David, oh, my gosh. So, like, tell me about it. What are you most excited about when it comes to the Beards in Business Fashion Showcase and pop-up? Um, I'm most excited about seeing other brands. The other brands are going to be there to represent. Um, and I just heard recently about this uh, top dress prize. Oh, we're going right, to have a we're going to have a best a best dress uh, prize going. So <laughs> yeah. I got to come exclusively in something either Dapper Luke owned or uh, yeah, Erica Stano right? owned something Some, black owned. But yeah, black shout owned. out to those. I just, I just threw a little drop for those black owners. Was he going to come? He always bragging about winning. We gonna say his name because he ain't on the show right now. But he always say about what white man you were. <laughs> I'm coming dripping in some black on. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's but what I'm, I'm, I'm excited actually just to be here with the, um, the great greatness of your event and the people that you invited out and just to see what we come up with for, for the seven five seven. And not to mention. The song I just heard, the 757 <laughs> exclusive song. See, I can't wait just see? to hear the song. I'm not going to say that now. He's going to spoil it. Okay. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be some great music. That's all I'm going to say. Let me tell you something. See, started from the bottom. Now we here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Now we're here because, yeah. like, November 7th is going to be so dope. And I am so happy so. to so. 
like finally connect with you guys i know like i said earlier at the very beginning we connected back in 2000 what 19 yeah. 18 and we finally get a chance to do something and to be honest with you when we made the decision to do a fashion show and pop up this year you guys actually came to mind because i'm like yo how can i like promote them like how can i because like what you stand for is so important so I remember y'all was at our first fashion show yep. and a lot of the young, the youth in your, yep. in your camp came to our table and we was giving uh -huh. them shirts and Yes, and, I remember and merch. that. And it was that look in their eyes like of, of excitement from being there just had me triggered. Like I want to, I want to continue working with them. Let me tell you something. So that weekend or the weekend before I can't remember, they actually had a chance to um, do a photo shoot. Or whatever with Keith Cephas. Um, he's a local photographer here. Well, he's nationally known. Let me okay. let me say shout that right. Okay, shout out to Keith Cephas. And I remember some of the kids when they got dressed in those suits and they got dressed up. They were like, I feel like somebody. And mm. bro, it was like, bro, you should feel like somebody every day. Nah, I'm, you know let me tell what you saying? when you put when you put your first suit on, it it's like it's like putting on a new watch. Wow! It's like it's like getting a fresh haircut. It, yeah. it makes you. It, it changes your whole self perception. Right, 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 right. Well, that's what I'm saying. So it's like it's one of those things that like having those experiences. And so the cool thing about beers and business. So what we decided to do was separate beers and business from Virginia Beer Fest. I mean, it's the same under the same entity, but beers and business are black men that really want to invest in the community. Really want to go back and find ways when they have time and ultimately these fashion shows and these events and celebrations and things like that give them the opportunity to invest back into the young men versus like not being able to mentor every single day yeah. you know what i mean or right. being an after school program or being there they can at least contribute their beard their facial hair <laughs> and contribute and find ways to give back to the community and so like last year the the participants in the beard and business um, you know, photo shoot and calendar had a chance to help a young man avoid adult penitentiary. So, oh, that's fine. I know, right? Yeah. Like, you know, it was just one of those things that he needed. He that was a need that he had, and so I'm super excited about that. So, tell me, so how is it that you can relate to the youth today and giving back to them? So, what is it that you feel like that you've been through in your life? that you feel like you can connect with the youth and be able to impact them? Um, I Honestly, I still I still feel like I'm part of them. Like I dress young, I feel young, I'm energetic. So when they see me, I relate off just my image alone, but also my struggles. I came from a poverty family, yeah. a single family household, mom mm -hmm. taking care of all the bills, seeing her stressing. Wow. So I can relate to them on so many levels. Like they, it's not gonna be hard to draw, to draw uh, uh, a friendship or some type of connection with them. Right, right, right. My, my main focus now is teaching them business early. Oh, yeah. Business early. Yeah, So that way yeah. when they get out the game, get out of high school, college, they already know what they focus is, their aim is. Right. Yeah, and that really be the issue because sometimes we're not focused. Sometimes we're just told the story to, like, go on and, you know, like, go to college, get a degree, but there's not no real focus. Right. And so I'm so proud of our generation. Like we like, yo, we going to take the uh, next generation. We're going to teach them what it is and teach them what we didn't yeah. know. That's really important. So each one teach one and the next generation has to be better than us. Yeah, That's the only absolutely. way we, we, we move forward from where we are. Like we can't be stagnant. We black kings and queens. And right. Our success comes from what we do now. Yep, 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 yep. So tell us okay so i always like to ask this question so tell me about your beer regimen i see you got like a goatee you know what i'm saying i'm you got, trying look you look y'all i'm trying i don't want like, easy to hype me up it. man like for real i don't have the whole connect yeah but i got the know? beard i got the beard it's long i got the you goat know what i'm beard. saying the ladies love the like beard. i'm just saying the yeah. goat you know what i'm saying because you the goat you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shout out to the goat, I man. That's, yeah. that's, that's it. Yes. Um, I, I actually have some oils that I use. I okay. have eccentric oils okay. um, that I put in. So when you be, um, you know what I'm saying, up on the ladies, you give her a hug, and then, like, you know what I'm saying, she smell the oil. Yeah, they, they you know going to smell saying? it. I got the black seed oil, right? Okay. I, I dip it in the black seed oil okay. first, and that gives it nice, a nice shine. Okay. And then I have some Egyptian oil. Okay. That's, that's the... Um, 
Shout out to my African shops. They always come right. through with See, the oil. They always come through. Yeah. Always come through. You gotta have it smelling good too. See, yes. fellas, y'all missing out. Y'all just like to use hair <laughs> grease and stuff. Like, now nah, y'all need to use some real essential oils. Don't be, y'all, please stop using hair grease. We don't like that. We got enough of it on our scalp, okay? We get our scalp squeezed and we don't need it on our face when yeah. we hug you. Yeah, it, it, it's not gonna hit the same either. Mm -mm. So t the ladies always like to know: We single? We dating? What's going on? Uh, I'm single right now. I'm focused. Ooh. I'm in lane focus. Ooh. So, ladies, if y'all focus too, yeah, you gotta come correct. You, you look, ladies, anybody that I'm talking to at this point, we have to be on the same page, mentally, spiritually, physically, because I'm not settling for nothing that's going to have See? me have me off course or distracted. Can I be on team focus? And so you got to be on team focus and maybe, you know, y'all lights will align. You know what I mean? So, well, well, great. Um, so that's what we're doing. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm really, I'm really reading this book called opening the spirit. Okay. And one thing it taught me is before you can connect with someone else, you have to reach your highest level of focus first. Like, Basically, how the airlines say, put on your mask first right, before right. you can put somebody else's yeah, on. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I'm doing right now. So, I mean, shout out to any ladies out there that are single looking. But right now, I'm putting my mask on first. I got to okay, get, I gotta okay. get to a certain level of establishment for my team and family, and then I'll be out here. But. So, you know that's what it is. You know, like, the hot thing now is, like, mental health, right? So, dudes that go to counseling and know learning themselves, like, that's what it is. For real, in real life, like, that's... That's the hot thing now. It ain't even what you look because like or how much money you got. Because I can come to my woman got. with the right yes. mindset, the right attitude, the energy, focus, where she know like I'm not out here just polluting my my energy field being Correct. with anybody. Correct. Correct. So, ladies, you heard it from the, um, the man himself. Okay, Team Lamb. You know what I'm saying? One of the co-founders. You know what I mean? He said, "Get yourself right." All right, so get yourself right. And we'll meet when the time is aligned. And we will meet, okay? Y'all will meet because I'm married and I love my husband very much. I ain't meet Shout nobody. Shout out to marriages, too. Right. I ain't meet nobody but my husband. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Jay over there at Great White Water Sports. question for all of my podcasters out there do you ever find it difficult to come up with content ideas for your podcast or are you like me perhaps you've gotten stuck during an interview with a guest where you just have nothing else to ask anymore honey Woo, jesus you know what you should try pod decks today because pod decks is the best all-in-one podcast idea generation tool okay listen you get everything you get episode ideas to interesting conversation starters for interviews engaging discussions for your live streams and even social media content ideas now with this tool you don't have to spend weeks trying to come up with content for an episode or you know create unique questions for your guests all you got to do is just shuffle the cards around pick one at random hit the record button and um Boo y'all, you're started. You gotten started, honey. Now, you can make better content and have more fun while you're at it and get even your viral moment. All with Poddex. Head over to poddex.com and use code C4C. You know I have. Peace. What's up, y'all? Hey, this is what I need you to do. Go over to virginiabeerfestival.com. Follow us on IG and Facebook, Virginia Beer Festival. Look, check us out. I appreciate everybody for listening to Beards, Business, and Black Men, and we'll see y'all the next time. Peace.